Hello everyone, how are we doing today? So today we're going to be talking about this little special plant here. So on my way home today, I picked it up. It's called a, hold on, a Trinette Variegated Schifflera. That's what the tag says. I know it as a variegated ar arboricola. So why am I holding this plant? So in the last lecture, we talked about the genes found inside the nucleus and how they relate to heritability and things like that. But there are other genes found inside our cell. We have genes that are found in our cytoplasm. So in mammals and eukaryotes, we have something called a mitochondria. Way back in the day, this little ancient prokaryotic mitochondria entered a eukaryotic cell. It's called the endosymbiotic theory. And mitochondria are like a little bacteria almost. They can divide and replicate on their own via binary fission. They have their own genetic material, their own DNA, their own ribosomes, and so forth. So they divide independently of your cells. So your mother, in the case of humans, all your mitochondria come from your mother's. So if there's a mitochondrial inherited disorder, if your mother have it, has it, all children have a 100% chance to have it. If your father has it, there's pretty much a 0% chance. Some other randomness could happen in that. So then why am I holding a plant if I'm talking about mammals? Well, there's another organelle found in plants that's not found in eukaryotes. Plant cells have another one called a chloroplast. Chloroplasts are why plants are green. So plants can, I'm talking, giving off CO2 right now. This plant is bringing in that CO2, going through photosynthesis, if I put it over here in the sunlight, and making oxygen. So I can breathe in the oxygen here. But that happens in a special organelle called a chloroplast. Chloroplasts then have their own DNA as well. I'll show a DNA sequence of a uh, chloroplast. And within that, there is a section called a chlorophyll. So chlorophylls are the light absorbing pigments. So when UV light hits these leaves, it converts that UV light, it harnesses that light energy and converts it to sugar and then release, releases oxygen as a byproduct. So why are leaves green? So the focus of this is to look at the different colors of the leaves. Some of these leaves are green, some of them are a little bit more yellow or white. And so why is that? Hmm. Well, chlorophyll is the light absorbing pigment, but it doesn't absorb green, it transmits green. So wherever you see green on this plant, those sections of the leaves have chlorophyll that has a proper form of chlorophyll. The white parts, the chloroplasts, do not have a proper version of that chlorophyll. So these white regions here actually cannot undergo much photosynthesis. They're actually, you know, most light is being not being absorbed and converted into energy at least. But you might think, okay, so there's some parts of this plant that don't work then. This leaf down here, parts are green, parts are white. This part, the green part, is producing enough energy for the rest of the plant. And some other stuff can still be stored in the parts that aren't going through photosynthesis. Could, it could still work. But this is just like a great little example here of chloroplasts at play. So, but it's still okay. So not all of our genes are found in our nucleus. Here we can visually see this structure, this variance of the chloroplast DNA in these plants. And you know, I got this at Lowe's today for about $6. Uh, and these are, you know, nice little shrubs you can put around your house. So I'm going to use it to, you know, decorate some, you know, landscaping around my house. I uh, just conveniently bought it and so I can exp turn it into a video for you all to explain a little bit about what we just talked about in one of the last lectures about how not all DNA is found in a nucleus. And this is a great example of DNA being found in a chloroplast. All right. That's all I have for today. Sorry about the wind in the background. Uh, if it was loud. Neighbors have some wind chimes going, but I wanted to film this outside so we could be with the plant. Uh, but thank you again for being here. Have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll see you all next time, and bye-bye. Well, hold on, Watson wants to say hi. Hey, Watson. Hey, Watson. Watson, 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 Watson.